Yo my people, what are you saying? We are back again for another away vlog. I'm looking forward for this one. We are going up to Burnley. First trip there to Burnley. Yes. Um it's got Dad here and that. Well, we're we gonna get the coach. I haven't even turned up yet. What's I don't even know what the time is. There's well, one. I, I went to Burnley in the eighties, yeah. so it's my second visit. What did we lose that? We you, lost we that lost game, game. Yeah, what yeah. What's the score? I think we lost it. I think it was two 0 I think two it was three one, something like that. Yeah. And our last three um games against Burnley in all competitions. Especially last season, they did the double over us. We've lost all of them and haven't even scored a single goal. So I think we're going to be looking for some redemption. Um, there's no James McArthur in the team. He's out till February with a bad hamstring injury. Really bad, you know, could be up to four months. Who knows? But it's a major loss to the team. So I hope it doesn't affect us. We've got players such as Luca Will Hughes to fill in the cracks. So yeah, in the team and that. So who knows which one of them we're going to start. Also some good news, Abire Eze, my guy, is back in the team. Well, not really in the team. He's going to be in the squad. He's travelling up there, so who knows? He'll probably be on the bench and come on as a sub if things aren't going our way. Now, looking at it, we're unbeaten in six. Burnley in their last two. A win at home in the last home match. We won against Brentford. And a draw away against Chelsea out of all teams. Now, honestly, it shows if we don't compete with them, the coaches have just arrived. If we do not compete with Burnley, we are going to get absolutely battered. We just got to give our all, score the goals, play off our skin, and we will get all the three points. So I'll see you up there. And yeah, come on, you Palace, do not let us down. <laughs> does the cricket start like turf moors literally over there and literally we got here two hours early and we're just waiting like it's like we're watching cricket and it's like winter it's just weird honestly like, you wouldn't even get this next to a football stadium i guess that's why they kind of call it turf moor with all due respect <laughs> Kind of freezing right now. We're up Turf Moor. My prediction for today: I'm gonna go with a 3-1 win to Crystal Palace. I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm trying to be positive. I feel like the goals are gonna come through. I haven't seen the lineup yet. The players, I don't think you've even arrived. It's freezing right now. What's your prediction? Um, I'm going 2-1 Palace. Yeah, I told um, him. He said 2-2. I said 2-2 originally, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, I want the 2-1. I wanted it to be positive. It's yeah, a really well. bizarre situation here. In that we come to Burnley and we're sitting in the pavilion I of a cricket that. ground. I, I know, I'm just reiterating it. Well, was this here last time you came? Was it here last time? I don't know, this wasn't. No, last oh. time I came back in the 80s when you stood on the side of the pitch <laughs> and stand in yeah, the terracing. Yeah. So we're in Turf Moor right now. So the team lineup is in goal is Vicente Gaia, back for Mitchell, uh, Gaia and Anderson on the right back, Joel Gord. And then defensive mids of Kiate and Luca, kind of known MacArthur is injured of course. Burnley team is just warming up, we'll just come out now. Gallagher in the number 10 roll. Up front three are kind of bizarre as well. Like Ayu Benteke and Wolf. I would have liked to see Edward play. And possibly Elise. Eze's on the bench. We just got to perform well in the first half for us, we're in for trouble, that's what I've got to say. We've got to compete, we've got to be up for it. But interesting choice of team there.
defending Palace, man. They've won. That's like their second attempt. Yeah, I don't even know who scored it. Oh, come on. But then. Then me. I've all players. Excuse my language, but I'm pissed off right now. Okay. Four. 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 Someone tried to put Wolf in a headlock or something. For me, I don't know what. Someone's getting sent off if things don't calm down because this is turning into chaos for us. Yeah, so hard in trouble. Yellow card for Wills. What about the Burley guy? It's our Koski, yeah. Yeah, the bit right here, Dave. Come on, we need you on the pitch, man. Come on. Getting okay, really sloppy in that possession, being slow and playing that. Oh. header no one was marking him and he puts it worldwide but what I don't understand oh, come on two turns brilliant control by Gallagher then take it with him and he puts it away for a second come on he leads it out what a goal brilliant team goal brilliant one team between him and Gallagher well Gallagher and Benteke you would say because it was some terrific work Ourselves a corner now. Come on, Pale, let's go for it. No! Oh, come on. Still 3-3, wasn't a red, I can see it from miles away, but we need to pack our ideas up right now. It's pathetic, man. Shocking shot from I didn't spread to Gallagher, but somehow fortunately we got a corner. Debatable, but who cares? Come on, Palace. What goes out here, what comes to Lise? Come on, man. Three header again, we're just not there right now defending. It's a joke. Oh. 
Another corner, come on! Well done, Gallagher! It's never a play. Broad, come on, keep your head on! Yes, it's a foul. Come on, Palace, wake up! My God is coming on. Come on, man. Luke is coming off Eduardo or oh, risky man, risky, risky. And then they might have just saved us. I thought that was it. I thought Burnley would have got it, but bloody hell. They got a corner arm, oh, boy. What a save. Oh, my God. Journey back on the coach was uncomfortable, kind of quick, but jarring at the same time. Just, you know, my, the leg room. And it kind of, you know, it's just really, journeys back from away games, especially if you don't win, are uh, usually a real drag in that, if you know what I mean. But listen, I was kind of a bit slightly frustrated at the time when the full-time whistle went, I'll be honest. But now I've kind of calmed down. It was a good game. It was an even game. We didn't take our chances in the first half, they didn't take the chances burning in the second half. Either side could have won it, but they could have won it at the last kick of the game. It was for our keeper, you know what I mean? We could have been 2 0 up if we didn't, if we would have taken that chance after scoring the first goal in the second half. Of, sorry, in the first half, and that after going 1 0 up when Benteke scored. So look, you know, both, time, both teams have got themselves to blame in that. You know, can only have themselves to blame for having not winning it and not being as solid defensively. But it was a very good game of football. Probably one of the best games of football I've seen in a while. So, very impressed. Um, we move on against Villa. They were to be Brighton, our rivals, 2 0 for the park. So, they're going to be cock a and they're going to be over the moon. Especially the new bounce with the new manager, Stephen Gerrard, coming in and changing it around and fixing them up. And now, after five straight defeats, so they're going to be up for next week. It's going to be a big one. We move on to that. Comedy Palace. See you next Saturday. Lovely game of football. Good performance overall. We need to improve on our defence a little bit, but yeah, credit to our goalkeeper at the end there for keeping us in the game and for saving us a point. And yeah, make sure to like, share, subscribe. It's going to be a snap. Link in the description down below. Come on, you palace. Road to 2K. See you up next week at Sales Park for the game. In a bit.